once a year. An event happens that is so huge, nobody attends it. It's my birthday! Wait, maybe it might be that, or it might be the fall, classic of the fall. It's Hogan versus Flair, empty arena three. You made it! It's the biggest event since last year's. That was a while ago. Like last year. Was that like 300 some days? 367. The leap year. Carry the two. Carry the two. Or you could carry the H3. As H3 opens this match bit against Beard Samuelson. Unification time! H3. The Campion TiVo Champion. That sounds Beard dumb! Sam yeah, it does. Beard Samuelson, opening Continental Gate Championship. Champions Adult diapers. galore. Champions galore. First time these two megastars have squared off. Take a look at that stone. And now where they put the mummers floats. Beard Samuelson. The man with the championship. Or two of them. Actually. Two points! Good thing you're the champion, otherwise he'd be doubled over and I'd be laughing my ass off. Yes indeed, as this show gets off to a great start, as Ned throws weaponry at one of the participants. The few lights that we do have are shut off for H3's entrance. The other champion! What? H3 can't find a way to enter the ring without tripping over explosives. Maybe they turn the fucking lights on, they do it! Oh, big Samoan drop from Beard as this match gets underway. From a guy who's Norwegian. Beard exchanging right hands. And then Beard with the knockdown. The last time the Federation was in Philadelphia, someone shit in their limo. Ew. His weaponry thrown all over the place. H3 and Beard. H3 out of the ring. And there's no padding this time either. Oh no, this is empty arena rules. One. Concrete. Concrete rules. Concrete rules. HG with a little little bit of a sleeper hold there on Beard. Two. That's an extreme rest hold. Extreme rest hold, yes indeed. Three. I think Beard's taking a nap. That's right, Beard Samuelson. He was drafted to the Federation at the rough draft earlier this year. He's carved out a living. His best matches have been in empty arenas. The best yes. matches that no one ever saw. No one ever saw. Both competitors exchanging right hands. H3 now with the advantage. Beard Samuelson power bomb on the side. That'll certainly screw your shit up. That it will. Beard made his debut at Empty Arena 2 last year. Double A Spinebuster stolen from H3's moveset. H3. Can we get a new podium? Yeah, he falls into the podium for no reason at all. Power slam from H3 on Beard. 
He's gonna show the rookie how it's done. That he does. Holy shit! Massive pile driver on that debris. And then H3 with One. a double A spine buster of his own. Two. He's gonna and paralyze that fucker. We have a two count. Beard Samuelson, hair as white as snow. Not Al Snow. Beard, throwing some sort of uh, tear gas bomb. They have plenty of those in Philadelphia. I was gonna say, so. yes. Ooh, neck breaker. Especially when the Eagles lose. Yeah, that's been needed a little more this season. Atomic drop, it looked like. Right on the sack! Yes. Beard, wow. He is taking a lot of right hands, and now an elbow drop on that sign. That's all part of his strategy. Which is? To get some color, because his TV doesn't have any. One. H3 again, into the lateral press. Beard with the quick kick out. Fuck your shit! And H3 is taking over. Is it just me, or is Beard Samuelson's arms covered in raspberry jam? No, I think I think there's definitely uh, some blood coming out of Beard's arms. Or, as, yeah, as you like to say, raspberry jam. Double A spine buster again. Let's keep it PG. One. Yes, let, let, let us indeed. Two. Three. Son of a fuck! And that's it. H3 wins it. That double A spine buster to his advantage. Maybe if he gets lost, he can use a triple A spine buster. Indeed, yeah, that'd be good. As you see, the debris from this match. The aftermath. H3. He's the new walk. champion, TiVo. Open the TiVo bathroom. Adult diaper champion. Where's he gonna put all the belts? And he's he's a he's a very decorated champion. He's more overly decorated than your grandma's trick in the street. He's trying to exit the uh, premises and he can't. Climbs the rail. The door's locked. I don't know why we have rails in the first place. It's not like we're protecting anybody from getting over the rails. Protecting me. Jumping, yes, jumping the rails, as they might say. Rail jumpers. Parkour.